Real Plumber makes tier lists of popular tools. Please hang around because we're going to put a link in the description. I want to know your favorites too. Whether you're new here or if you're here all the time, if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. So tier maker is pretty cool. My guys have gone through and found this. And like I said, what they've done, they've put some things down across the bottom of the screen. I'm going to pick and move up why they're lettered the way they are. I'm not sure, but S is the top of the list. Then it goes down A, B, C, D, and F. So let's just start by number one. I'm putting shark bites at the bottom. There's no doubt about it. I don't even know why anybody would put that up there. Now I'm looking at this and, I, and I'm, and I asked my guys and they said, you know, Roger, think about this your way. I'm going to rank these based on what I think are the most popular tools for plumbers and what makes them money. So the next thing that I'm looking at, I'm literally looking down here and I'm thinking, okay, look, I use a pair of channel locks every single day. Uh, I don't think that there's a day goes by that I don't use channel locks for something. So I'm going to put them up towards the top and then I look down and I'm looking at a closet auger. I'm looking at Teflon tape. I'm looking at a PVC or poly pop cutter, a torch, pop dope, a hacksaw, a kinetic water ram. And I love those a pipe wrench, pro press fittings, and a sewer machine. So the next one I'm going to go ahead and grab and put up is going to be the sewer machine because the sewer machine to me, that's a money maker that makes you money and it leads to more money. So I really do like that a lot. The bad thing is there's not a lot of these products that, that I can really put down on the bottom. I'm going to take Teflon tape and pipe dope and put them both down here towards the bottom. Don't get me wrong, they're great tools and I think plumbers use them a lot. You know what, man, I, I really, I, th I think I'm gonna move those up just a little bit because th they're, they're not bad, but they're great tools to have and, and when you need them, you need them and there's nothing else that'll replace them. So th th there is a great thing there for them. Uh, closet auger, see that's a tough one because plumbers don't use those every day, but when they do need them, they come in very handy. So let me go ahead and put my closet auger up on that same level. It, see, it's kind of middle of the road, not a bad thing. But again, it's not something you use each and every day. Do me a favor. If you're a plumber, what is your favorite product on here? What is your least favorite? Do me a favor and leave me a comment down below and let me know that here on the YouTube channel. Now, we are putting a link down in the description. I would love for y'all to go over there, click on the link, fill it out, and share your results over on our subreddit at Roger Wakefield Posts. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out and see what y'all think too compared to this. Also, if y'all got any great ideas for tool lists to put out on the next one, again, leave us a message down here and say, hey, look, I would have really liked to have seen these things on here and not these things. All right, man, I, I've got to go the, the kinetic water ram, and I'm gonna move that right up there next to the sewer machine. And don't get me wrong, I don't use it all the time, but I love this tool. I think this does a lot of work that, man, it, it could save people a whole lot of problem. Now you gotta be careful with it. You can create a lot of air pressure there and you can blow a lot of stuff apart. All right, so now, now, now. I'm gonna take the torch up towards the top. I still, I still think channel locks I use every single day. Level two, I've got the sewer machine. I've got the kinetic water ram and a torch. That's good. B level tools, I'm, I'm gonna put ProPress up there. Uh, look, not, not, oh, I pulled it on the wrong deal. I'm gonna put it down here on B. Nothing against ProPress, nothing against any press type fittings. I think they're great to have. We just don't use them near as much as we do these other things. And actually I could probably flip. Uh, look, I, I like ProPress, I have no problem with it. I'm gonna leave it there. Hacksaw cutters and pipe wrench. I'm gonna move pipe wrench up on a level two. Actually, no, I'm gonna take pipe wrench to level one. <clears throat> May not be something you need each and every day, but when you need something that'll really grab that pipe, spin it around, move it. Actually, I'm gonna move it to level two and move the torch up to level one. Cause I think that's one you, you can't do without. Pipe wrench, not either, but you could use channel locks for a lot of it. So anyway, that kind of puts me there in the ballpark. Use my poly cutters, my PVC cutters, up to level B, 
Hacksaw. Hacksaw, I'm going to move up to B also. I'm not going to move it up to A. And see, I feel bad that I don't have anything on D. I just meant there, there's some pretty good tools on here. So, so look at this. On the top level, on level S, which I guess that means super tools, I've, I've got my channel locks and my torch. On A, you know what? I'm going to move the sewer machine up to level S just because when you do use it, it makes you money. And that can lead to bigger jobs too because of the breaking uh, of pipes and stuff like that. So on the top level, I've got channel locks, I've got torch, I've got my sewer machine. Level two, I've got my kinetic air ram, I've got my pipe wrench. On the next level, I have press fittings, I have my ratchet PVC cutters and my hacksaw. I'm gonna move, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move the Teflon tape and the pipe dope down to level D. So on level C, I've got my closet auger. And guys, I've gotta tell you, I love my closet auger. I, I think, especially because I have the extendable that'll go out six feet. I think it is a phenomenal tool. So I'm gonna move it up to level C by itself. On level D, I'm gonna put Teflon tape and pipe dope. Actually use them in that order, put Teflon tape on first, then a little bit of pipe dope on top of it. And then on the bottom, I have those push to connect fittings that I don't use. So what do y'all think? Now, and I, and I wanna think about this one more time. So look at where we're at. I've got channel locks that we use all the time. Uh, and, I, and I literally used to carry them in my pocket and then have multiple sizes. I've got a torch, I've got a sewer machine. So looking good there. Those three, the, the, those are your three big dog tools right there. I almost think about moving up the kinetic air ram up to that level. I love the one that I got, but I'm gonna leave it there. And pipe wrench, because when you need a pipe wrench, you need it. Next level, I've got my two cutters and press fittings. I love that. My closet auger, man, I could move it up because when I use it, when you need it, man, that is the one tool that, that there's not a lot else that'll do what it'll do, so I really do like that. Section D, level D. I've got Teflon tape and pipe dope. Don't get me wrong, you can't do without them, but either one would work for most situations. And then on the bottom, I've got that other thing that we use. We do not speak his name. So anyway, man, that's my list. Now this is something that my guys put together. I didn't have anything to do with this. They literally put it in and said, hey look, just go in here and put them on what tier you think you would put them at. And I did. I asked them, is this for making money? Is this for use? What do you call it? But I got to tell you, I think they gave us a pretty broad selection. I really would. I would love to see what you think. Number one, if you're a plumber, I also want to know what tools would you take out of this list or what tools would you put on this list? Maybe give us another list below of, or the, of the tools you would like to have us rank on this tier list. I like this. This tier maker is actually pretty cool. If you're a homeowner, do you have any of these tools at home? And if not, which ones do you think are the most important for you as a homeowner? Anyway, this turned out to be pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad my, I love it when my guys give me something fun like this to do. So we will put a link in the comments. If you would, please do this, save it, download it like it is right down here on the bottom. And then you get a deal right there. There's your image. Save it, post it to our subreddit at Roger Wakefield Posts, and let us see how you did. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you in the next video if you don't get flushed.